I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the basic concept of renaming numbers. As you know numbers can be put on a place value chart. So we have ones on the right hand side and then as you move left then we have ones, tens and hundreds. Right. So, so that is how we actually read numbers. So let me just uh, uh, make a small table here which can help us understand this process right so let me make longer lines okay so so that is how the numbers normally will be read so we say we have ones tens and hundreds so if I have a number which is 700 then we could write in hundreds position 7 right and then 0 0 that is how the number 700 is normally written and when we say 700 it really means 701 since it ends at ones we call it 700 and there is no need to say once it is understood so 700 written like this really means once so when we have to write 700 as ones it is just same 700 while doing this exercise you can also think about seven dollars and cents so pennies are your ones so in seven dollars we have 700 pennies that is what one says so now let's move forward and see how to rename 700 as tens now to write 700 as tens let me rewrite this 700 once again so now we have 700 here but we want to know how many 700 will make tens so you have to end here at tens that is what 700 tens put a decimal here so we know 70 so the answer is 70 for us so 70 tens is also 700 do you see that part 70 tens is also 700 so that is how you can rename as 700 as 70 tens. So to remind you, $7 will be 700 pennies or 70 dimes, right? So if you have 10 cents each, 70 of those 10 cents will make 700 pennies. Do you get the idea, right? So just to give you a broad idea. Now let's look into the next number which is 700 we need to rename and write it as some hundreds okay hundreds is there so we'll again write the same number 700 but this time since we are we want to know how much is 700 as hundreds we'll put a decimal here so everything to the left side counts which is 7 so it is 7 here do you see that so 700 you get an idea so that is how you can rename. Now we have learned quite a bit. Now let's get into some questions. Practice. So D, E and F. So let me write down some other number. Let's say this time 520, right? So I'm writing 520 and I want you to write 520 as tens. How will you do it? So you can now pause the video answer this question right so 520 makes how many tens you can actually make a place value chart as I have done extended to answer these questions this exercise will really help you to understand the concept so now we'll have the next number here as uh, 225 now I want to write this as as hundreds now think about dollars and cents uh, to get a good picture of this okay now one more number I will write to give you more practice and I'll take a bigger number this time so the number now is 1230 okay now write this as as hundreds okay so that is an exercise for you how will you do it 
let's begin 520 first write down 520 in the place value chart since you want tens in the tens column put a decimal so you get 52.0 so you can write here 52.0 tens so you can use decimals also in your answer that is what this part of the video is trying to teach now we have 225 let's write down 225 225 hundreds so hundreds here so put a decimal here right so 2.2500 so we can get 2.2500 right so it is kind of two dollars 25 cents does it make sense okay now the last number here is 1230 so let me extend this place value chart with the next period so this is now 1000 you see that 1000 is on the left side of hundreds correct so we get this number here let's write down this number as 1230 now we want hundreds hundreds is right there so I'll put a decimal here so the number should be 12.30 hundreds so that is how you rename your numbers I hope with this you have understood how to rename three digit and four digit numbers will further take an exercise to understand this concept clearly so I have introduced you to decimal numbers also place those decimals just where the place value needs to be that helps to rename the numbers so let's look into the example once again 700 is same as 701 so whenever you say 700 we mean those many ones now 700 could be written as 70 tens or 700s also that is called renaming 700 now we took example 520 which is 52 tens if there is a zero after decimal you can kind of forget about it so it is 52 tens 225 is two decimal two five hundreds 1230 is 12 decimal 30 hundreds so that is how we can rename numbers up to four digit i'm anil kumar subscribe to my videos and learn thank you and all the best